and we have the perfect solution for you. It is called the Doggy Dorm. It is a portable, lightweight, easy to see through and completely enclosed compartment for your favorite pet. Not only does it fold completely flat, it comes with a storage bag in your choice of size and also your choice of color. So I'll go through the colors quickly. You can pick your color, then we'll talk about the different sizes. This one is going to be, I believe, the teal, which is sort of a, I would say like a grass green. We have this color, which is called burgundy. We have a blue, we have a zebra, we have a pink, we have the black, and we have the, yes, even your furry friends need a little leopard print. And we have three sizes. We have the small, we have the medium, we have the large. Our fall price is $10 off our regular price. So we have a huge price break for you. Small $59.95, the medium $69.95, the large $89.95. Not only do we have $10 off for today only, we also have free shipping. And that's only for today. I own the doggy dorm. I love the doggy dorm. Whether you have puppies, whether you have a new pet that needs to slowly be incorporated into that uh, furry household, or whether you have a senior pet that maybe needs a little bit of a safe space, we've got the perfect solution. And the best part is you can literally take it with you anywhere, unlike those other hard shell cases or kennels. And Dawn is going to be back. She brought her furry friends. It looks like King is in the large. King is a 115 pound hey, gorgeous German Shepherd. And he is so <laughs> comfortable in there. He has so much room. We say it's good for pets up to 90 pounds, but clearly you can see mm -hmm. he even has room in there for his little sister, who's probably about 60 pounds. I know. That is bigger than my dorm. When yeah. I went to go <laughs> Yeah, actually, relatively And speaking. I think I paid a lot more for my dorm. <laughs> All right, here's the medium size, just to put this in perspective. And this and is Karma in here. And you see, there's doors on either side of this, and they're open on this. And you can see Karma can go in and out if he wants to, but he chooses to be mm -hmm. right in there. He's comfortable. He's got all that room, and he's in a medium. Okay, and how about how big? Would um, a this will medium... fit a pet generally up to about 60 pounds. Up to 60 pounds yep, for a medium. and depending on the height, they're your dog and everything. And then the small okay. is for pets to up to about 30 pounds. And this is also great for kitties. So you can use this as a kitty litter box room, like so that it doesn't track oh. litter all around. Or you can use it for a smaller pet. Mm -hmm. But they're wonderful because they're just so portable. You can take them anywhere, and you can see the dogs love them. You know how dogs, when they get, when they want to lay down and make their bed, they they go in circles yeah. like that. Well, you can't do that in a rectangular crate. It's just they have no room to do that. So it's sort of you really want to have something bigger and more spacious. And the doggy dorm gives them eight walls instead of four. I know. So instead of generally twice as much room. Instead of a dorm, it's more like a condo. Right. <laughs> right. They're, 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 they're living the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Here's a little video to show you how easy it is uh, to expand, right? It just right. It unfolds. just pops open and it no tools needed and very, very lightweight. You don't need an engineering degree to figure it out. And it just folds up just as easily, just like that. So when you're done with it, you can just put it away. No hassle. It doesn't have to sit out all the time if you don't want it to you can just put it away. So the greatest thing is we're talking about humane containment for your pet. We want to give them more room. When we're leaving them home alone for any length of time, we don't want them to feel like they're so cramped. We love them. We want them to be happy and we want to feel good about it. So this way they have all this extra space this is all attached, it's all one unit. Everything you need to buy is here. You don't need to buy anything else. The bottom is attached and it's PVC coated. So that's kind of like that finish on your cookware. If they have an accident in it or spill food, it just wipes right up. That's all there is to it. But the best part is when you're done, you can just fold it up and put it away like this. And that's it. That is like then, the best thing, Dawn. It's so wonderful. I've had so many kennels. I've had so many crates. And I have had so few places to put them. I mean, like, well, sometimes big. you, like, have to put them up on a shelf in the garage. You have to stick them in the basement. You have to try to find room in a closet. Or, I think, like most of us pet owners, we end up leaving our crates and kennels out. And then they're taking up valuable real estate well, in your home, and right? And if they're metal, they do. They take up a lot of room. And if they're metal or that molded plastic, they don't protect your floors. So they can leave marks on the floor. They don't look that good in your living room. You know, we spend all mm -hmm. this money to decorate our home. Why do we want to put something that looks like a cage? And, you know, really, 
that's almost like doggy jail because you're putting them behind bars. So this is just something that's soft-sided. If you run up against it in the house, you're not gonna scratch your leg all up. It's not gonna scratch your furniture. It's not gonna scratch your upholstery if you're trying to put it in your vehicle. And they, as far as price goes, you don't have to keep increasing the size of it. You can get a bigger one to start with and it's still lightweight. You can take it up and down your stairs. Mm -hmm. You can pack it up and take it with you if you go to motorhoming or camping and it goes everywhere with you and that way it's their home away from home. Because we do, we want to take our dogs with us. I want to take my dogs to my in-laws. Uh, but if you have a new puppy who might be prone to accidents, you probably want to bring the doggy dorm. That way it doesn't uh, pee on anyone else's carpet. Uh, maybe you have puppies. Maybe you have kitties. You mentioned some other animals animals this is good for, right? Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, I use it for my dogs and cats. We have had customers tell us they use it for their hedgehogs or their bunnies when they're <laughs> cleaning their cage or put birds in here, iguanas, all kinds of things if you need a temporary space to put them in. Now, I brought my little dog Luna here okay. with me today. no iguanas today, I hope. No iguanas okay. today, so okay. no reptiles in my home anymore. But so little Luna here has been with me for quite a long time, Aww. and she is a very special sweet girl, but she's on a special diet. So when I feed Luna, I need to feed her separately to make sure all my other herd is not getting her mm -hmm. food. So many of you may have that same situation at home or you may have a food aggressive pet. So it's wonderful to be able to just put them in here and not have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then that way, you know, this still looks good when it's in your home. You can, you've got all these beautiful colors and fashion prints that you can choose from. So it will go with your decor. And then if you travel, how wonderful is it to travel with? Because if you're going to an airport and you're traveling with your dog or your cat, the small and the medium actually will fit in an overnight bag or a carry-on bag or in your suitcase. So if it's a great idea. Yeah, and if you're in an airport and your flight is delayed, we know that happens, what do people do with their pets when they have to go potty? This way you can just pop this right open, put their potty pad down in there, and your pet can be comfortable for the rest of the flight. So it's just a very mm -hmm. humane way to take care, safe containment for your pet. Let's go over uh, all the colors and the sizes one more time. The most exciting part is that if you've been seeing this presentation and if you've been thinking about getting the doggy dorm, this is the best yet because it's $10 off our regular price. That's a huge big savings. And then we're also doing free shipping and we have the five flexible payments. So uh, to space this out over the next five months makes it super easy on your pocketbook. And free shipping means you never have to pay an extra penny. We always have 30 days to get it home, to open it, close it, try it out, uh, you know, see if your dog or cat likes it, and then just pick your color. So we have small, we have medium, and we have large. Small is up to how many pounds? About 30 pounds about for 30 small. Pounds for about 30 pounds for small. 60 pounds for medium and okay. about 90 pounds for large, but we've had customers tell us that they put two Goldens in those larges. Mm -hmm. And I have yeah, actually gotten big. in there and sat in there with a sick pet that's as large as King. So they're just really so versatile. Those, are, those are the really good sizes. So small, medium, or large. So let me go through all the colors one more time. Uh, and you can see the dimensions here on our screen if you have any other uh, measurement needs. If you want to figure out, okay, wait, I'm putting this in the guest room, I'm putting this in the living room, it's got to fit between my bed and the the wall of the bedroom, small, medium, and large, 30 pounds, 60 pounds, 100 pounds plus. And then we have really great colors for you to choose from uh, because dogs like color too, and you might want to get it to match your decor. We have this color we're calling teal. It's kind of like a, a grass green color. Here's the burgundy. It's kind of like a pinkish red. We have a classic royal blue. Uh, the zebra is really fun. We've got this uh, beautiful pink. We've got a black. We have a leopard print. And again, pick your size, pick your color, and there really are a lot of nice details. Will you walk us through there all the are, details? Sure, and, and I also wanna to talk to you about some of the uses. So when you get this at home, I tell everyone, pop it open, just leave a door open. You've got doors on opposite sides that zipper up, and then you can just roll them up, and there's little grab tabs up here, so you can just leave it open, mm -hmm. put so their bed like in there. So kind of like a tent. Yes, you and then- You can roll the doors up? Exactly, you oh, can cool. roll that up, and then that way they can go in on their own. And that way they just, you know, if, you're make, if you make a pet do something, you know how they never want to do it. Pet parents know about this. So make it like it's their idea. They'll go in on their own and it's just as easy as that. And it will become their favorite new thing to go in. So fabulous during the hurricane. Think about if you ever have to evacuate, 
you have to leave in a hurry. You never want to leave your pets behind. During Irma here in Florida last year, we actually gave several of these away to shelters and they were wonderful because this is actually a photo. The pets that you see in there did not know each other. So these were pets <laughs> that got to get out of those tiny little crates that their owners had brought. They got to go in a doggy dorm and it was very, very, it was a potty. So they were very, very, very happy. <laughs> they look pretty chill. Content. Look at that. And so it made things so much easier on the pet parents because now their pets, you know, you can't take them out in a storm to go potty, but they could put potty pads down. Look at this poor fella. He's exhausted. He's at a school that was a shelter. You can see the large doggy dorm in the background. And he said, Dawn, I could have rented them out because people, you know, your pet still has to go outside. If you live up north and you've got inclement weather, it's snowing. Who wants to go walk the dog, right? You can put a potty pad in here mm -hmm. or put your kitty litter box in here. Let them do their business. It's gonna protect your floor. And if you are a home that has dogs and cats, you know how sometimes your dog wants to get in that litter box? It's something unpleasant, but that's we all know that's what they do. You can put your kitty litter box in here, close the doors, leave the top off, because this top is removable. Your cat can get in, Ooh, but your dog can't. Can jump over. Right. So you can zip the top closed if you want? Yes, the top is completely removable. So I have this one off here. You see the other ones, it's on and it's closed. Mm -hmm. So you can just leave it open for the kitty cat to get in, but okay. your dog can't get in. And what's nice is that you can see in. If you right. are using one of those other hard shell crates or kennels that's metal or whatever else they use. Uh, sometimes you can't see it unless you get down and peek in the doorway. Now right. you can kind of see it. Are the puppies sleeping? Right. Is my senior cat okay? Or how are the bunnies or whatever you said well, goes in there, iguanas and think about those <laughs> hedgehogs. And <laughs> exactly, and think about those rectangular crates. If you leave your pet in there for very long and they have an accident, it's on them. Mm -hmm. So now you have to clean the pen when you get home and you have to clean the pet. Well, who has time for that? This is really something that you can love your pet with and you can spoil yourself because it's gonna make it easier for you. They're gonna be so much happier. I leave these all over my house. I never move them. I feed a food aggressive pet in one. I feed one with a prescription diet in another. If one of them is sick, I can monitor them in this. It's just mm -hmm. the best way to go. And they collapse instantly. We show Absolutely. us easily how, so again, easy. it is. You know, you don't I even mean, have to think about it. You're just folding it down once in the middle, and then you've got two cubes, and then you just push in either side and bring it together like the spine on a book. That's it. And then it goes in its little cute little matching case. And if you're someone that wants to use it outside, you're also going to get these four stakes. And I'll show you what you do with those. Once you pop your pen open, if you're camping, mm -hmm. or maybe you're at the beach or something okay. like that. That's a great idea. You just pop it open like that. And then we've got these little tabs here mm -hmm. on the side. These are little anchors. So you can just anchor your pen down into the sand or into the dirt to secure it. That's a great idea because how many times have you been somewhere and you're like, I want to bring the dog to the family reunion or I want to bring the dog to camping or maybe it's a picnic or maybe it's an outdoor experience. Uh, there's a lot of places you just can't bring them because of, you know, it's just not very logical. Now you can actually pop this up and bring it anywhere. And this is great if you're traveling. If you don't want them running around a hotel room, bring this. If you are going somewhere, like you suggested, if you're if you're flying, I have this. I put it in my trunk of my car. It doesn't take up any room uh, like another kennel or crate would. And then I can pop this up whether I'm visiting my in-laws, I'm going to a relative's. If you're going to an Airbnb, if you're going to a VRBO, you've got a rental, you know, a little it's weekend really... getaway planned. You just, you take it with you and you can pop it open and then you've got that instant space that your animal's really gonna love because you can make it their home. Right, and then it's, right? it's their home away from home and it's very a very polite way to travel with your pet. And you know, sometimes when you are traveling, if you have your pet in a hotel room and you go out to dinner and they service that room, you always worry, is my cat gonna get out? Is my dog gonna get out? That way you can contain them humanely and safely and not worry. You can go enjoy your evening and not mm -hmm. be worrying if your pet is gonna bite somebody or gonna escape out of the room and then never be found. No, and sometimes so. they just need their space too. Sometimes, you know, my dogs kind of get on each other's nerves and I've gotta right. give one a break. My senior dog doesn't 
you know, always want the other one like in its face. So this is great for senior dogs. This is great if your dog has accidents. This is great if you have uh, small pets that need a little bit of privacy. I love that it is mesh all the way around. You can see in and your pet can see out. I think they get nervous when they can't see. They, when that's they're, true. When they they're still feel part somewhere. of the family. And, and you know, maybe you have a pet that's recovering from being spayed or neutered and you need a quiet area from them. This is perfect for that. Or maybe if you're not feeling good and you need a little bit of break a little time out put them in the doggy dorm they're going to be comfortable safe and happy you don't have to worry you can go relax and nothing is going to happen to them so it's just a very humane way to safely contain them and they love it mm -hmm. they really really love it and it's easy to clean the bottom again right it's if, PVC there, if there 